You are now watching this free vlog. Yeah, it is. The opinions captured in these videos do not reflect LeBron. Let's see. Let's see how this affect LeBron. What's the difference between simpin' and pimpin'? Oh! Now, Chad, this is a conversation that Reese needs to be having, huh? Chat, this is a conversation made for Reese. What are y'all thinking about this, huh? What are y'all thinking about this? Reese, you ain't no pimp. Uh-uh, buddy, old pound. Don't, 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 don't question what young Reese be out here getting into here. You know, it runs in the family. Did you know that my family? Yeah, Reese be out here. Yeah. Keep y'all ear to the streets, chat. Now, the S word, which is bannable on Twitch for whatever fucking reason. Listen, man, that's what chat be doing. We can all agree. That's what chat do. That's when you over nice, over selling yourself, trying your best to win over a young lady that ain't yours. She ain't even yours, chat. Buying her stuff. Always telling her she look good. All the chicken. You gassing her up. She ain't even yours. She not even yours, Jack. A girlfriend is no such thing. You can't you can't be a S word to your girlfriend. You can't be a S word to your wife. You can't do it because she yours. All rules is off the table once she yours, chat. Write that down. She you can't. You can't. She yours already. She yours, chat. Write that down. How you gonna say somebody S word and because he brought his girlfriend flowers, a teddy bear, some chocolate, took her out all night? That's his girl. That's what he posed to do. <laughs> That's funny. Um, well, I don't. Mm, it's kind of the same thing, to be honest. Uh, same thing. Um, those are literally two opposite things. Okay, that's why he put that video edited like that. You see how he edited that together? It's kind of the same thing, to be honest. Um, those are literally two opposite things. Reese, when did a girl find you attractive? The year was 1887. Watch the damn video. Simping is uh, Stop when you saying that. are the basically the customer. Pimping is when you're the supplier. Mm. Oh. It's a big ass difference between sipping and motherfucking. <laughs> <laughs> you know, questions in the world, that's the one I'm gonna get, huh? Man, it's a big difference between sipping and pimping. Sipping is when you're not pimping. Mm. You understand me? This fucker just answered the question with this with the question. Robert L eight five three just subscribed. Mm -hmm. What's up, homie? Chad, he remind me of y'all. Y'all y'all answer questions with more questions that don't actually give you an answer. Y'all don't actually describe shit. <laughs> Yeah, I said what I said. Simpin, you're just down bad. Sound like Chad. Probably about a bitch. Sound Get like over Chad. it. Get your money. That's when you're pimping. What? Sipping is this? All right, get her off the computer. She missed confused. Okay, so sipping. All right, get her off the damn computer. What are the characteristics of a gentleman? Characteristics of a gentleman. A guy that holds doors open. A guy that, 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 that. A guy that, 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 that. Damn, I forgot the chivalry shit. What's a gentleman, chat? I forgot. It's the chivalrous type of things, you know? It's when you're, 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 you're. Fuck! What's a gentleman? <laughs> Damn it! What's the characteristics of a gentleman, Chad? I forgot. I've been so cold-hearted for so long. I, I lost my gentleman ways. I lost them. The streets made me so cold-hearted. I lost my gentleman ways. I lost it, Chad. I used to. I used to be such a proper young gentleman. I used to be dapper, nice little suit and tie. Now Reese just a cold-hearted demon, hoodie duck. You see me in the hoodie right now. Reese became a whole different animal. A different monster. Um, let's see. Somebody that takes you on an actual date. Ooh. It doesn't just use you for your body. Ooh. Um, let me, mm, that's a really good question, actually. Um, I don't know, there's not a lot of gentlemen out here, so I don't. Okay, and this young lady is exaggerating. She's never been wined and dined, but there are plenty gentlemen out here, okay? You're not looking at one, but I, I'm i pretty sure there's a lot. Chat, how many of y'all on the first date would, 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 you know, buy a girl flowers and meet her at her front door? How many of y'all doing that? 
How many of y'all are gentlemen like that? Okay, chat, take y'all time. Don't all answer at once. Take y'all fucking time. Oh, my internet fucked up. God damn it, chat. Retype your answer. Type it again. Type it again. My internet fucked up. Shut up, chat. My internet went out on the computer. Type it again. Not me. I don't know about flowers. No, sir. Me. Chat, let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all what a real gentleman that Reese is. You know, it was Valentine's Day. You know when Valentine's Day come around, they have flowers. This is like four years ago. Valentine's Day, there was this girl that wanted Reese heavy because Reese is such a Mac Daddy of the year. Reese already knew he had that thing in a bag. So what gentleman Reese did? He bought her chocolates, bought her a nice little teddy bear. You already know Reese is a gentleman like that, chat. Just because it was Valentine's Day. I just wanted to be a nice guy. Somebody had to do it. Why not Reese? Y'all ain't built like that, chat. That ain't something y'all doing. Now where she at? She wasn't mine. Niggas just was being nice. That's your problem. Y'all don't got that part of your body. Y'all ain't got a heart in here. Reese, his heart turned to ice. It's over for that now. I'm not nice no more. They let you think you're right, even if you're not. Oh, Jesus, this is a witch. So I don't really know, but... They let you think you're right, even if you're not. And they speak softly. Huh? A gentleman is speaking softly? You think you're right, even if you're not. And they speak softly. You don't see many around here, but when you do, they really stand out. Yeah, just to be respectful. A gentleman is going to always be respectful, whether respectful. what age you are, whether it's kids, whether yes. it's an old person. Yes. You're going to be respectful, and respect go a long way, and it, it comes does. along a lot of different lines of a lot of things. If you respect stuff, you just go about your quality of life a lot different. Okay. What would you call the female equivalent of a gentleman? <sighs> the female equivalent of a gentleman. A sweetheart, uh, that's what I would call her, you know? A lot of these women are bitches, but you would call her a nice little sweetheart, a little sweetie pie, you know? She's a, a nice, lovely young lady. What you what's a, What is the girl version of a gentleman? I don't know. Is there a word for that? Wifey material. Oh! Um, a girl that really is there for you, a girl that takes care of you, doesn't just um, assume that you're going to pay for everything, do everything for them, and expect that they don't have to do anything in return for that. Should a woman who doesn't act like a lady expect a man to act like a gentleman? Definitely not. No. Can you define seduction? Yes. Me. Ew. Wait, she is being seductive right now. Look at it. Yes. Me. Is she being seductive, slutty, flirty? Is that all in the same... Look at the eye contact she got with the cameraman. Look at the tongue. She trying to get that tongue. She play with the hair. She's trying to be flirty. Is she... I don't know, chat. Would y'all give her that? Did she, did she hit that seduction? Did she start seducing you? Was it working? Nice teeth? I don't really like them. They're a little big. They're a little too white. That's what it is. They're white. That's why. That's why her teeth look scary to me. Yes, me. Oh, interesting. Can you define seduction? Every time you... Whoa, 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 that ain't it. That's just freaky. Why you start gripping her by the throat? Is that seductive? Is that seductive? I think that's just getting straight to it. Look at me. Damn, she hit her head on that pole. Can you define seduction? Every time. You God damn, she the masculine one in a relationship. Look at me. Bam, hit her head right on the damn pole. And you gonna get an angle and record it. What is this, OnlyFans? Why do we not skip the footage? Chat, are we this down bad? We need two random women to be kissing in front of us. Do we actually need to see this content? I'm going to be honest That last with one was a man, Reese. Lucky her. But listen, do we need to keep it professional to some sort? Some of this needs to be professional. Y'all ain't got to be all freaky deaky all the time. Look at this, man. Oh, spicy. Look at her funky ass. Spicy. <laughs> You're open with your sexuality. You own your... It's nice to one. 
fucking what's going on out here, man? The NyQuil chicken video. Yourself, inner self, same as outer. You love your body. You're fully 100% of who you are. You're not ashamed. You're loving every single part of yourself. That's sexuality. You're like open book. How does each gender approach seduction? Oh, mm, mm. that's a good one too. Mm. Let's see, um, a lot of ladies will show off, you know, boobs, ass, things like that. Um, men in their ways, they kind of, they talk more, you know, like their words kind of get ladies in that way more. Mm. Women are more into like how they look, their body, their looks, physical. Mm. It's very important nowadays. And when it comes to a man, it's more like kind of being the macho man, you know, macho. like strong protective and in a way we're like they own it do you think every man can master the art of seduction no but i have look at this hating ass this motherfucker a hater how you gonna tell me i ain't doing it but you doing it fuck you want me to be like you everybody always want to be in a powerful position motherfucker we don't know you we ain't taking notes after your funky ass fuck you gonna teach us something he think he got the wisdom to teach us Anybody could be seductive. He talking about I mastered it because I got it like that. Get your funky ass out of here. I think every man can master the art of seduction. No, but I have. Goofy ass. <laughs> Not every man can master it. Most of them are shy in a way where like they have it, but they won't bring it out. If they haven't. Why do men have to put on an act to be the bad boy to attract women while women have to put on an act to be sweet and submissive to get a man? Because it's the laws of attraction. It's the same reason why a bird got to puck his chest out and make a weird ass call to make the other bird like him. You got to do something different to catch the attention of the person that you want. What's the difference between seduction and manipulation? chat i was why y'all keep bringing up this bad boy thing there's no such thing as a bad boy why do y'all keep talking like chat are you a bad boy <laughs> when the bitches come around do you become the bad boy for them <laughs> the fuck is wrong with y'all girls don't want the good guy they want you to be the bad guy that's who you are chat you're the bad guy that's like, you're the bad guy Oh, yeah, yeah, man. Manipulation is more of um, kind of lying to get your way, you know what I'm saying? And then um, seduction is more putting yourself out there to get your way. Oh, we don't like manipulation. Mind games is not cool. Seduction, like, you could see someone cute and be like, oh, damn, I want them. Like, how I feel about you. Okay, now they're just being nasty. But I would never manipulate her to be any type of way with me, like... If anybody says stop or no, like, you respect them. It's a respect thing. And I feel like that's where the difference is. It comes with respect. Are women more impressed by what a guy is willing or unwilling to do in order to get sex? Willing. Every single time. Unwilling, you can make compromises because sometimes you're just not into the same things and that's okay. But if you're willing to, like, do stuff and practice stuff that, try stuff that you've never tried before, you might both be into it. Wouldn't that be being a simp? Yes, but no. A simp, in my mind, is more like someone that literally just follows around your ass and is your servant. Girls don't want servants. They want someone who's a challenge that is their own person. They know what they want, and they're doing their own thing, but when they ask something nicely and they ask more than once, they just want it. They're not begging for it, and they shouldn't have to beg for it if they really love that person or like that person. Mm. And my microphone went dead. Well, he got one for you. Oh, well, I have to charge it, but whatever. You get the point. My microphone still works. Why do so many women go around thinking that they're queens? First and foremost, if it ain't all-star, it ain't shit. And a lot of you females got it twisted. Look, a lot of these dudes are gassing their head up, right? Check. And they got these females thinking that, you know, they, they more valuable than they really are. But at the end of the day, it's plenty of fish in the sea, and it ain't no difference between you and me. So don't get it twisted. Own, look, if you ain't got your own car, your own house, crib, apartment, whatever, if you can't supply for yourself, how does that make you a queen? queen? If you need a man to take care of you or if you don't want to spend your own money for your own personal gain, how are you a queen? You that feel way. me? That's know, where they so. got it fucked up at, man. For sure. That way. Why do so many women pride themselves in having their own car, their own money, their own job when those are the expected qualities of any standard adult? You know what? I'm going to let you start. 
honestly, they pride themselves so much on that because they got their standards set so low. You feel me? Mm. They, they expectations of people wanting to take care of them, get this for them, get that for them. So when they get it for themselves, they treat they it like, like a, oh, I'm just it's shit. a big accomplishment. <laughs> it's like, you should have that already. It's regular degular if you're an adult, you feel mm. me? And let me put it this way real quick. These ladies wouldn't be so gassed up about that if a lot of you gentlemen had y'all shit intact, right? Mm. So make sure you got your shit intact so when you approach one of these females, they ain't looking you up and down like you some uh, square off the street. Yeah, you, you feel me? Motivate. Have your shit intact. For sec. Interesting, chat. So girls are feeling like they queens because y'all here gassing them up. And the opposite way to stop gassing these girls up is to be a better man yourself. So when you approach them, you already know what you fucking with. So you ain't fucking with just anybody. Interesting observation there, Chad. What are y'all thinking about this? Because I don't give a fuck. Because one thing they're going to look at, if we ain't got our own shit, do you got your own shit? You feel me? So how you gonna judge if you ain't got your own shit either? So that's be the thing, man. Stop gassing their ass Stop up, gassing man. gassing their ass For up. Sure. That shit is lame. Let less simping, more pimping. You know what I'm saying, brother? For man, sure. drop. I would drop the mic if it was mine. Let's go. Do you believe a king can crown himself? No, I believe the people crown the king, and oh! he doesn't have a choice. If everyone was a king, why would a king be special? Because he knows how to lead the. What makes a God damn it? She was about to start talking to us, man. She was about to use words people and lead the people fairly why do women often crown themselves as a queen because they know they could control a king if they find a great man and they choose the great man behind every powerful king or powerful god or whatever the heck you want to think of it is a more powerful woman mm. that will do anything to protect him and their future children mm. why can a king marry a woman and make her queen but a queen can't marry a man and make him king that's a good question i think it just has to uh has a lot to do with men being seen as more powerful in a way mm. than women but a queen can't marry a man and make him king i'm pretty sure they can do that whoa where has that happened in my mind but not in reality i don't know do we know i'm asking but you said yes so i'm just wondering can you give me an example um alice in wonderland so a fairy tale no the queen of hearts i don't like this lady Seems crazy. Kim Kardashian before. Wait, what? Yeah, absolutely. Can you give me an example? No, she's really real. We skipped some. Can you have a queen without a king? Can you have a queen without a king? Yeah, absolutely. Can you give me an example? Beyonce before. Beyonce was like 15, 17 when she met Jay Z. She wasn't a queen already. She wasn't a queen already. She wasn't a queen already. You're lying. With Jay Z. Kim Kardashian before Kanye. Whoa, was Kim Kardashian a queen? She built a dynasty. Chad, is Kim Kardashian a queen? She, she has a powerful dynasty built off the name of her legacy. Interesting. Something going on here. No, Chad, she might got y'all with the Kim K situation. Hmm. Hmm. Everybody was pretty happy about Pete Davidson once he started doing the nasty with her. What's going on out here, Chad? Something ain't adding up. Something ain't adding up. We got to think about some things, man. Hmm. I don't know, Chad. Something going on. Speaking of which, Kanye's a dumbass and should go back on his fucking drugs. Who are the bigger queens, alpha females or gay men? Honestly, that's a good one. I have no idea. They're both fucking good. But I think alpha females haven't made as far as the feminine sex goes. And alpha drag queens and gay men haven't made as literally the queen of queens. Why do the most powerful men in other countries have multiple wives? Because we're all hot. Where the fuck she come from? Why do men in other countries have multiple wives? Because we're all hot. <laughs> you definitely gonna probably need more than one. When they act like that, you probably gonna need more than one, dog. Cause one gonna be hot and one not gonna be hot. And one gonna be able to cook and one not gonna be able to cook. You know what I mean? So you kinda, you you might, different strokes for different folks. That's what I'm gonna say. Some people like one, some people like multiple. Why are you more likely to see a man with multiple wives than a woman with multiple husbands? Um, I feel like men, okay, this isn't me being rude at all, but I feel like men are just more, um, uh, sexual in a way, you know what I'm saying? They need more than women do. Being part Saudi Arabian, I'll tell you. 
I think it's to spread the family name, to continue the furtherance of business. And frankly, you know, if you could date and equally get to know multiple people at one time and you're fearful of people embursting your money for false reasons, like, you know, marrying you for your money or your business, the best option is to have multiple girls because at the end of the day, if somebody's going to, you know, stab you in the back or whatever it may be, then you have the option of you've already kindled with somebody else, I guess. If men have always been- Wait, what? If you're scared of being taken for your money, you're scared of being stabbed in the back, it's good to have multiple women? Huh? Is- I'm, I'm confused, but she- I- what? That kind of makes sense that- oh, I'm lost. Been in power, who made the law that men could only have one wife? I- I have no idea. Well, why would no a man- idea. why would a man make that Sounds law? like- that sounds like a woman with really good puppet strings to me. Okay. <laughs> what does that mean? Um, I think it's a female construct. I feel like, you know, the whole wedding ceremony, things like that, I think it's a women's construct that we've demanded from men because from the time we were children, we were expected with Disney movies to think that some prince is to sweep us off our feet and everything is to be perfect and there is no struggle and, you know, the birds do the dishes and that's really not the case. Okay, what is the case? I think the case is just like the rest of the world, everything is being synthesized and that everything is being over dramatized like for example diamonds are only valuable because they were marketed as uh, the woman's best friend diamonds are a girl's best friend or whatever but in reality they're they're replicable refabricatable you know chemically being able to be made and things like that and the reality of it is honestly I think if you're in love with somebody and they tie a piece of grass around your finger you should be happy it's complicated I'm Batman and now y'all mad as to why I didn't want to see the two girls kissing. We're here for business, and we get the end of the video. This fucking hood rat, hood rat, hoochie mama over here bouncing that funky ass in front of the camera. We doing all this conversation of men and women not putting girls on pedestals. What we'll make this bitch special hitting these whack ass dance moves? Nobody want to see her. I'm not turned on, aroused, excited. It's pissing me off more than anything. Can we have some class, some decorum? Get this fucking shot of here. Venus underscore crazy 497 just subscribed. Big 20 sub chat O and 69 not patch goofy. And chat, can we call what this little end segment here is? Is this the S word he was talking about? How the host of the show doing the exact topic of the show and the end of the video? How is he doing that? How is he going to do that? I've never seen an end segment of any of his videos and this is dedicated all to her. Like, we really give a fuck about seeing this young lady. He doing it right here. He doing it right here, bro. Gassing up girls for no reason. Will, guess, will Reese ever get married? Yeah, sure. My single for life. Chad, I'm not getting married. Shut up. Blame the cameraman. She probably plastic. I don't give a fuck if she 100% natural. I don't give... This goofy has the right to give her the segment at the end of the video of her dancing that doesn't add to the conversation and the thesis of your constructed channel. God damn, man. The rules of modern dating. This is why it's so goddamn hard. Didn't we just say stop putting girls on a pedestal? And now I'm looking at this girl like she motherfucking Britney Spears dancing in front of my camera. Nobody want to see her ass. She ain't even make valid points throughout the whole video. Now I'm mad. This is the whole social construct of the world right now. Y'all keep gassing these whack Her fucking teeth. I'm getting mad. God damn it, man. I meant to watch this video.